Okay, OMA students, let's try to get a website with two five-minute videos. First, you need a Google account. Go to accounts.google.com. Fill in all this stuff. I'm not going to do all this for you. Um, you can figure this out. My email, my Gmail account, my Google account is downinch at gmail.com. You make a password. It's all free. When you're done with that, you go to sites.google.com. Sites.google.com, you're logged into your Gmail account and you click create. You want a blank template. Anything else will mess you up. Blank template and you must name your site NIU, capital NIU, and then your Z number. My Z number is Z035098, but you would put your own Z number in there. Then we want a blank template and I would say select a theme. Uh, the theme that I like is Treehouse that I've used in the past. There it is. I just happen to know that. So I've selected a theme. I have to certify I'm not a robot. They don't want people making multiple sites. Um, so I've got a theme, a blank template. I've named NIU and then my Z number put together with no space. And then I click Create. And voila, you have a website. And it comes with the theme. So it'll have a little sky, for, in my case, and some trees um, because that's what I selected. It takes a second. When we're done with that, we're going to see two critical buttons. This is the Edit and this is the make another page. So we can make another page within our site and we can have multiple pages. First we're going to edit. We don't want this just to say home. That's not what I want for my website. So I click edit and it comes up and now I can take my mouse in there like you might expect and type. And I'm going to say Chuck Downing's web page. That's nice. That's better. Now I might, have, I might want that to look bigger and you say, okay, what are my choices? Well, you go up here, you have your menu like you might expect. 24 is the biggest choice. It didn't work. Or it doesn't show up like working. Um, and then if you really want, it says 24 point. If you really want to get fancy, you go over HTML. HTML, HTML is, so that's not doing that. So let's just take that off. And let's type Chuck Downing's web page here. Chuck Downing's web page here. And then I want to get the size to be bigger. I notice it can only go to 24. So the HTML is the code behind a web page. And you say, oh, these things with the less than sign and greater than sign are called tags. That's the HTML to make that. And it's only going to size 6. Let's make it go to size, let's just guess, 14. Oh, even though I didn't have that as an option here, I added in the HTML. So that's how you really, if you really want to build a web page from scratch, you do HTML. Now I want to put my picture in. And I, so I go into Insert, you might expect, Image. Uh, I want to upload an image. Uh-oh, there's all my personal pictures. Hopefully that's not uh, too personal. <laughs> Didn't say anything too bad. And um, for this, I think I have it in my department. It's a professional picture I'd be using here. You want to have you show up in there. Um, and so I think that's um, Downing, Chuck Downing, Web. DB08 or something. So it uploads and it puts my picture in. We need a picture of you. You can get it from Facebook or whatever as we showed in class. We don't want that to be original. That's too big. So I pick the S for small. That's much, much more good. Okay, now I want to add a page. That's my name and picture. I want to add a page. How do I add a page? Well, first I save that. I'm in the editing mode, so I save that. And once I save it, I get these two critical buttons again. Hey, I need a new page. Why? Within that site, I want a new page called Resume because it says you need that in the assignment. So I click Resume. Now over here, you can see, oh, this is untitled. It should be Home. So let's edit that quick because I changed that. That is my home. That's what, that's what I want it to be. So that's like a menu over here. There it is, Home and Resume. Okay, Resume is all good except there's nothing in there. So I'm going to edit the page, but i got to go find a resume. So I have a resume here. I say... Um, Select all and copy. If you need examples of resumes, you can look at your classmates or you can look online. You Google it. There's tons of resumes online. And then I come into here, edit the page, and say paste. And now I've got this gigantic resume in here. Fine. I'll use that for now. I say save. And now my website has my name, picture, resume. I'm on my way. Um, I'm going to make some, you know, I might, might want to make some changes, and we'll show that in the second video. So far, so good.